So we've got several notes here. Some of it's speculative. Some of it's already news, and uh, we can get your comment on this. Uh, Major Burns, defensive back at Georgia, originally from Baton Rouge. That's his home, coming back home. So he spent a little bit of time in Georgia, got his uh, feet wet a bit on the uh, SEC stage a bit here in 2020, but makes his way back to LSU. Yeah, he only played two games, four tackles, you know, didn't really factor in much at Georgia. There's 14 other defensive backs in that room coming into this uh, coming into this season. 14 defensive backs in all. Uh, he, he, I think he saw the writing on the wall there. I think Austin Thomas is also, you know, doing a hell of a job as, a, as LSU uh, general manager. Um, and immediately with the roster management, he's, you know, LSU – it seemed like LSU were stacked at safety, but then you have two things happen. You have Mo Hampton transfers, mostly due because due to baseball, actually, weirdly enough, and then you have Todd uh, Todd Harris getting having a, another injury. Um, so you have two just random things, events happening right there, and instantly um, to make up for that spot, Austin Thomas has pulled a rabbit out of the hat, gotten a, a Bayou guy you know, back into the fold here. Major Burns, you know, he he actually once committed with LSU back in 2019, uh, decommitted in December of that year, um, weirdly enough, and uh, immediately had everybody going after him. You know, Texas A&M and Georgia were the leaders. Uh, I believe Jimbo Fisher was literally uh, visiting him the day after his uh, decommitment from LSU on December 12th. He was there on the 13th, I, I believe. Um, but yeah, he picked Georgia. It didn't work out for him, but at the same time, you know, that year doesn't count because he can just, you know, be a freshman again with that, uh, eligibility rule, uh, due to last year. And so, you know, I think this is a great fresh start for major burns. Uh, it boosts LSU's, uh, safety, cl- safety room to just, uh, almost unfathomable here because you got Matthew Langlois who's winning state titles in, a in, in track who's coming in at safety. And that's not even talking about Sage Ryan and Derek Davis Jr., who are also there at safety. So, uh, you know, Jay Ward, who is the talk of spring with four interceptions, two return for touchdowns. He had one pick in that spring game, as people saw, but was uh, showing a lot of people how he was a really hard-nosed, tough uh, tackler as well against the run. Uh, Showed a lot of discipline from the safety position. So it looks like safety has been renewed and rejuvenated. And then, you know, if you get Todd Harris back to full health, that's just like adding another big time experienced player onto the field right there. I believe Todd will come back to full health. I, we do not know the nature of his injury. Uh, LSU has not made that public. Um, it's, it's the longer the silence goes on, the longer that you don't hear anything about Todd's injury, the more serious, uh, kind of seems because usually if it was if it was nothing you'd hear something um, just because of what Todd's been through in the past with his torn ACL to, uh, yeah I think in the third game of the 2019 season against Northwestern State um, and so you know he played most of the entire 2020 season as a starter three turnovers you know Todd Harris he's, he's going to be a great safety there but. Uh, that's if he can get back to full health. Durante Jones trusts him, but that's if he can get back to full health. So LSU, they had a big time need. They went into the transfer portal where they have been absolutely just knocking them out of the park, as you know, Mark. And uh, now they got major burns to add to that, and we'll see. 